Hi, this is Ann from DuckTapeAndDenim.com. Thanks for watching today. We are going to be painting rolling pins. Some are old. Well, they're all old. I didn't buy any of these new. I've been collecting them at antique stores and flea markets and garage sales all year long. And my idea was to put them in the shops for Christmas and as part of the little Christmas display. And the reason I picked these colors of paint. Well, first of all, they're just my favorite paint right now. I've, I'm using shabby paints. This one is called Betsy Ross Red, and this one is called Hummingbird. All right, this is the first color. This is Hummingbird. This one is completely finished. This one I actually found already painted red. So can you get a close up of that? And see how it's already worn on there? That's the look that I'm going for with the paint. So I'm going to paint the handles and then distress them, hopefully just enough to make them look like that. All right, so let me move those out of the way. Now this one didn't have any paint on it when I bought it. It was a little bit stained. So what I do when I first got them, I sanded the rolling pin part well, before that, I just cleaned it. Most of them were pretty clean already, but if they have any kind of dirt or grease or anything, just wipe it off. They can go in soap and, soap and water, or I used my uh, Lysol wipes and just wiped them all off. And then I sanded this. That one's already sanded. See how good it looks? So I'm going to finish that part in just a minute. This one was also painted when I bought it, and I like the distressing on that, so I'm going to leave that. But look at this, it's got some sticky parts where the price tag was and some, it's not even. So, to do that, to fix that, I take my sanding sponge and just sand it off. Usually I wouldn't sand and paint in the same spot. You see, it's disappearing. Plus it's gonna make the wood look even and nice and clean. Okay, can you tell that right there? See how over here, it's, there's a dark part and a light part, and here it's just all cleaning up really good. You can do this with uh, cutting boards that you find at thrift stores too. You know, I used to think there's no way I would use a cutting board that I found at a thrift store that's just kind of gross, but when you think, well, it's wood, I can, I can just sand off the top layer Oh, you can tell a big difference now between, this is what it looked like before, is that um, focusing, and here's what it looks like after, so. And it doesn't take much. My hand did get a little, or my elbow got a little uh, sore earlier today. And then I take a tack cloth and wipe it down I wouldn't usually paint, I mean sand right here where I'm going to paint because you got a little bit of sand, sanding dust. But this tack cloth will pick up all the dust off of there. All right, so that one is ready to be finished. This is another one that I found that I'm not going to sand right now because it's going to take a lot of sanding. <laughs> And that would just be kind of boring after a while, but you can tell how easily the paint sanded off. Y'all know I love blue and turquoise, but I want these to go in my booth for Christmas, so no blue right now. Meanwhile, I will finish this one with, um, it's called Daddy Vans Furniture Polish. It's beeswax. It is food safe. That's what I have used on like wooden salad bowls. Um, cutting boards. Just dip a little bit on your rag. This is the old towel that I just cut into little squares. Ooh, I should have sanded it a little bit more to get that off, but I think I'll come back and do that later. Okay, can you tell the difference between the part that I've waxed and the part that's not waxed? This will just make it look really nice. So I just spread it on there 
and then find a dry spot on the towel or rag and buff it off. And I think I'm going to wax the handles too. That's just going to make them a little darker. All right. So that one's done. See how that made it a little darker? And I, so I'm going to put it over here with the finished ones. And then I'll go to the paint. They're both shabby paints. The 32 ounce is Betsy Ross Red and the eight ounce is Hummingbird. Let me show you my paint brushes. I started painting with this brush and soon realized that I can't do very close details with this. And when I was painting it, I was getting some on the end here, which then I just came back with my uh, sanding block and sanded that off. So I switched to this brush, which is just like a, a, a cheap artist brush. I think I might have bought this in, a, in one of those sets, you know, with like a bunch of brushes, all different sizes. And then you just paint it on. All right, so that's one end. So I'll put it back here to dry. All right, so this one is Hummingbird. I painted it green earlier and it's completely dry now. Um, I did sand the body to get off any rough spots or stains or anything. So I'm gonna sand just kind of lightly where you think it might have naturally um, had paint worn off of it, like on the ends where you, any part that sticks out or where you would grab a hold of it. To me, this kind of looks like jadeite, which I love jadeite in the kitchen. So I'm trying to get a little paint off of this area right here. And I don't want too much taken off. I just want it to look um, natural, you know. So now flip it over and do the other end. Then I will take my tack cloth again and just get off any little dust that that produced. All right, and then go back to the furniture polish. Okay, so there it is waxed, and here it is unwaxed. Not a whole lot of difference, but. Now, if you like these painted handles and don't want to go look for a vintage rolling pin yourself, um, there are lots of, I mean, I even found some on Amazon for just maybe four or five dollars that are completely just um, just wood, no paint on them, and you could paint it and make it look old. Yeah, I, I really like this wax. Um, you know those wooden salad bowls that you find at thrift stores all the time? You can do the same thing with them. Sand them and use this wax on it. And you can still use them to serve salad because this is a food safe wax. All right, that one turned out a lot darker. Look at that compared to this one. These, these were old and I, I think these just got used a lot more. All right, now I'll take this one. I already gave this one two coats of the Betsy Ross Red and it's got a lot more detail in it, so I'm gonna sand these edges here. You can tell it's a little harder to get off because I gave it two coats, but it still comes off pretty easy. You can take as much off as you want, as little, as little off as you want. I kinda wanna take more off on this one because of the detail in there. I think it'll show up better. to take the same amount off all the way around so let's use the tack cloth 
And I'm just wiping off all the dust right now. Now go back to the furniture polish. All right. This might make more difference than the uh, green one did. Yeah, look at that. With the wax and without the wax. Okay, I really like that one. Here's before and here's after. Does that, that kind of, I mean, to me, it looks like it was actually used a lot and worn. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments and shares and likes, and we appreciate that. Thanks for watching.